All of us, in whatever line of work we find ourselves, are interested in learning easier ways of doing things, or shortcuts. That's also true of sewing, and I hope many of you have found easier ways to sew from following these demonstrations. Perhaps you've noticed that good organization is one of the best shortcuts. And by following logical organization, we have made a skirt and the blouse separately, and now we're ready to join them together. Before we do this, let me do something that'll make it possible for you to see just where we are at all times. Here at the center front, I'll put a big F. Whenever you see that F, you'll know that, that is center front. Then here at the side, right side, we'll put an S. A B at the back. And here on the left side, I'll put a Z to show where the zipper will come. I'll put a Z on each side of that open placket. The pattern normally allows for ease at the waistline. And this ease is to take care of the curves of the body. When we altered our pattern, we did it in such a way so that we retained that ease. We did it by basing our alteration on the measurement printed on the back side of the envelope rather than by measuring the pattern itself. And now we need to take up that ease so that the skirt will fit the waistline. An easy way to distribute that ease and hold it in place is to use a straight woven tape, not bias, about one half inch wide. Or if you wish, you can cut a half inch strip from along the selvage of your fabric. Start by roughly measuring from your zipper placket edge to the center back to be sure you have enough tape for that area. Then pin it in place right at the center back. Next, find your waist measurement on the tape measure. Then fold that in half. Hold the end of the measurement on the center back mark and mark that distance off on your woven tape and mark it with a pen. Then bring that point around to the center front. Put it right on the center front mark and pin it. And here you see the fullness in the skirt. This needs to be eased up in order for the skirt to fit the tape, which is exactly half of your body measurement. When you have the waistline pulled up so that it fits the tape, Pin it in place so the edge of the tape will just be caught in the seam line when it's stitched. Mm -hmm. 
Now that represents half of your waist measurement from center front to center back. And here's an easy way to be sure that both sides of the front will be the same. Simply fold your tape back from the center front pin and mark where the side seam comes. Then bring that pin over to the zipper placket seam, and that's to the seam line and not to the edge. Ease this section of the skirt up to fit the tape. Repeat that on the back. Fold the tape back on itself from the pin at the center back and mark where the side seam comes. And bring that pin to the placket, the zipper placket, seam line. Then ease up this uh, waistline until it fits the tape. As soon as I have all of this tape pinned in place, I'll base stitch it to hold it while I attach the blouse. Let's review the advantages of putting this tape at the waistline. First, we know that this waistline will fit you because the tape from the center back around the closed side seam to center front is exactly half your body measurement at the waist. Second, since we measured the tape from this side against the tape on this section, we know that both halves are the front are the same. And similarly, we know that this half of the back is the same as this half of the back. Now leave your skirt wrong side out and leave the blouse right side out. Then collar down, slip the blouse into the skirt. Now match center front of the skirt to the center front of the blouse. The side seam of the skirt to the side seam of the blouse. Center back to center back. And then the edges of the zipper placket, both back and front. Then ease the blouse in to fit the skirt. This particular pattern calls for gathers across the back. And you'll remember that while the back piece was still out flat, we put in those gathering stitches. But we did not pull them up. 
remember is the bobbin threads that we hold on to and slip the fabric over the threads. Gather it up until the blouse seam line matches the skirt seam line. Then pull the lower threads through to the top and tie them together to keep them from slipping while we distribute the fullness evenly and stitch the seam. Repeat that on the other half of the back. Then pin the seams together. And stitch them. To avoid a pucker here at the waistline, when you put in a zipper, slant your stitching up instead of going straight across. And here's our dress ready for the zipper.